Hi, I'm Jason Concepcion, staff writer for The Ringer, and this is Ask a Knicks Fan. I'm here with Jamie Rosengard, a writer for Empire, a popular television show that I hope you watch. Your dad worked for Cablevision. That is true for many years. Which is a company that was founded by Charles Dolan. Who is a lovely man. A lovely human being as far as anyone wants knows. Wants the best for the Knicks franchise. And his children. Are also people. Right. One of those children includes James Dolan. Yes. Who is Notable the, musician. And, um, do you have any experience with the music of James Dolan personally? Um, growing up every year, we as a family unit used to go to the Dolans July 4th. It's a famous party. party. It's a famous party. I don't recall this, but my mom says that Winnie Houston was there one year and there was some type of fire related incident. So wow. I wish I could personally attest to it, but I think at the time I was more so just like, why am I surrounded by all of these uncomfortable adults? Um, but I have indeed heard the band perform. Mm. Um, and I think it's probably a compliment that I don't remember it. <laughs> do you have any favorite Nick's memories? I do have a lot of favorite Nick's memories. Weirdly, like, Reggie Miller was not a super active mm. memory of mine. All of my vitriol as a young Knicks fan was directed toward the Heat. That's great. Like, that was everything in my life was, like, hating them. And, Honestly, like, fuck the Heat. Fuck the Heat! Yeah. Like, they, like, how dare they touch Charlie Ward? It's like, disgusting. my child, Charlie Ward. What were they thinking? It's despicable. Also, I don't know about you, but in my memory, he was, like, five feet tall. And, yes! Like, he just got power slammed as though that were a normal thing to do and then punished for it. I'll never... I will never not believe that Pat Riley didn't order PJ Brown to do that. In of order course, to, that, why, that's why he was there. Flip him over, like, <laughs> and yes, like PJ Brown is like six, eight, and Charlie, you know, he like was just boxing him out. That's it. Like what you're supposed to do. That's basketball. But I think the funniest thing is, like, in my mind, it was like this brutal assault on this, like, you know, very fragile, yes. like, small player. Like, of course, we're getting that he's like a Heisman Trophy winner. Uh, typical typical Knicks thing, by the way, is that their point guard was a better football player than a point guard. Yes. Wasn't he, like, better um, as a football player than, like, the actual quarterbacks in New York at the time? Yes. Yeah. Which is fantastic. That's just, like, I think classic New York. It's fabulous. Yeah. Have we had a point guard since? No. Well, I mean, we've had 40-year-old uh, oh. Jason Kidd. That was good. He was good. That was a for fun that, year. For that one season, when, yeah. and then until he couldn't shoot anymore. We yeah. had Pablo Prigioni, which a lot a lot of people liked him. I liked him too. He was Very like good 35. Very good at like sneakily like being around. It's fantastic. He was yeah. 35 though. Let's see who else. And then we had like a lot of washed guys who like could not beat me in a foot race. Here's a pitch for you. Sure. What if the Knicks are actually like trailblazers for positionless basketball? This is incredible. Don't you think that's a pitch we could sell? Let's sell it. Like, I, let's just go to the Sloan Conference. Can we cut this out? Because I don't want to waste this. <laughs> What about some negative mixed memories? So many to choose from. Derek Rose coming to New York in the midst of a sexual assault trial. Yeah, that was, was not bad. a proud moment. That was bad. Also, the almost incredible ignorance that like Bill Jackson and the executive regime of the Knicks professed to have of the case, which was ongoing at the time. Was yeah, like, it was like readily accessible. It was like in the news. Yeah, it's like whenever like Sarah Huckabee Sanders is like, oh, I haven't had a chance to talk to him about that right. yet. And it's like, what else are you talking about? I know, like, what is like, your job? What were you guys talking to Derrick Rose about beside his like extremely important pending litigation? <laughs> or like where he went for those games that he missed? That's like, amazing. Do we have an answer to that yet? That's still one of the great moments in Knicks history that is like unexplained to me that a person can just, just be like, show up. I'm going to leave. If I didn't show up at Empire, which I'm not doing, well, I'll take this out because I'm actually not <laughs> at my job right now. <laughs> but I feel like there would be consequences and I am not Derek Rose. Would you rather the Knicks make the finals but not win or James Dolan step down as owner of the Knicks Rangers and Madison Square Garden writ large. The Rockets are free. Everything. <laughs> Would we get to choose who replaces him? Because I honestly, when Phil Jackson took that job, I thought that was de facto what was happening. It seemed great. I was all for Phil Jackson. Yeah. I was like, here's a guy with the gravitas, with the CV, with the re reputation to really affect change. He has a historic connection with the franchise. And it turned out like he's just like a real, like a crazy stoner. Cranky old man. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> so we would, yes, we would get to choose who, who gets to Here's the thing. Show. Maybe this is unpopular, but I actually Great. don't think the last couple of years are his fault. Like, I do really think when they brought mm. Phil Jackson in, I don't think that he was actively meddling. Like, there are separate stuff with, like, whatever is going on with, like, Isaiah Thomas, like, somehow being back involved with a women's professional basketball team. Which is great. I think that's... <laughs> that's a good use. I think everybody <laughs> thought that was a great idea. Yeah, right? not unpopular decision at all for a noted sexual harasser. <laughs> right. Um, Convicted, but... <laughs> by the way. <laughs> well, I don't know. I feel like if he brings in a, per a person that he is a big enough name that he can trust, right. like, I feel like he actually would step back. Maybe, but it backfired really badly. I am so touched and warmed by the fact that you still have hope in your heart. Gotta keep hope alive. It's wonderful. Jamie, thanks for being with us. Thank you.